guest list for my party. Billy, Freddy, Joan, Matthew, Sarah, Molly, Herbie, Nora. Oh. Mama. This looks like a nice little cake. Oh. Just won't be a birthday party without plenty of gas-filled balloons. Oh! Help! Thank you, Mama, for letting me wear my new birthday blouse for my party. You're welcome, sweetie. Happy birthday, sis. Oh, good. The ponies and the merry-go-round are here. The what? Oh, didn't I tell you? I rented ponies and a merry-go-round for the party. It just wouldn't be a party without ponies and a merry-go-round. Oh, goody, goody, goody! Boy, this is gonna be some party. Your guests are arriving, dear. Why don't you go greet them? Happy birthday. Here's your present. Where's the cake? Where's the bathroom? Yay, it was the game! All right, our first game will be everybody's favorite, musical chairs. Okay, you march, and when the music stops, the one caught off the chair is out. Start the music. March! Sister, you're out. Oh, boy. Spin the bottle. Oh, this thing going. Oh, no. Who you gonna kiss? Now we we'll know your sweetheart. Now we we'll know your sweetheart. I don't want to kiss anybody. How about me, sis? No fair kissing your brother. No fair. <laughs> Terrific! Way to go! Yay, sister! Oh, goody, I won, I won! Good work, Sonny. Here's your prize. Of course you won, sweetie. But you can't get the prize because it's your party. It wouldn't be polite. Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I just decided we'd have to launch this kite from up high. That's all. Now, hand that kite up here. Come on, briskly now. We haven't got all day. Do you think this thing will fly? It must weigh a ton. The space shuttle weighs four and a half million pounds, and it cruises with the greatest of ease. You just don't understand aerodynamics. But, Papa, please. We just want to fly a kite. This time, she's going to take off like a bird. You'll see. It was just a matter of getting some height on it, getting her up into the breeze. I tell you, she's going to soar like a bird. Here we go. Like a bird, huh? Yeah, a dead bird. Papa, this kite is never going to fly. Sheer defeatist poppycock. Why, I've flown kites since I was knee-high to a ladybug. Cub and bear, I've flown everything that flies. Flew the mail with Grizzly Doolittle. Have a perfumed scarf from Amelia Bearheart. You know, if we just had enough power to get her up into those thermals, hmm, 
I've got it. I've got the answer. Mama, Mama, bring round the family car. We're gonna go fly a kite and win us a fabulous prize. Oh, dear. Please, Mama, it's the kite contest. And it's this afternoon, Mama. Please. <sighs> okay, start the engine. Okay, let her rip. Whoa! Ooh. Hey, who oh, hey, stop? Help! Look, Papa forgot to let go. He forgot to let go. Oh, dear. Poor Papa. Help! Help! Stop the car! Stop the car! Now that is the strangest looking bird I ever saw. No, no! Don't stop the car! Don't stop the car! Didn't think he was going to make it. Wings too short, and he's much too thick in the fuselage. Go, Mama, go! That's it, go! Yeah! I think he's got it! Make way, make way! Let's get out of here! <sighs> well, let's see what's in the mail. Hmm, the latest issue of the Swindler's News. Let's see if they have any fresh ideas. Care for baldness. New remedy can grow hair on a billiard ball. Ah, forget it. Who wants a hairy billiard ball? Need cash? Sell Worm Farm franchises. Oh, boring, boring, boring. I certainly hope I haven't caused you any inconvenience. Who and what in the name of all that's weird are you? My friends call me Terrible Termite. <sighs> that is, they would if I had any friends. Would you like to be my friend? But, but, but I've never seen a termite as big as you. Neither has anyone else. I'm unique. Will you excuse me, please? I feel a snack coming on. Impressive. Very impressive indeed. Disgusting little creature. Enough to give you the willies, but perhaps the answer to a swindler's prayer. Yes, I do believe this repulsive little jerk can be a centerpiece of a world-class swindle. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> oh, oh, little friend. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I know you're there somewhere. Then you will be my friend? I'll be more than your friend, little buddy. I'm gonna be your partner. Your business partner. My partner? That's right. Share and share alike. Oh, you don't know how good that makes me feel. Up to now, I've sort of been a, an outcast. Well, you just relax, little buddy. Outcast. Disgusting little creature is lucky somebody hasn't stepped on him and squashed him like a bug. Now, just sit tight. I have a little errand to do. Well, ta-da! Don't eat any wooden nickels. <laughs> or any wooden houseboats. Don't worry, partner. I won't be hungry again till lunch. Job's all ready. <laughs> Raffish Ralph Termite Insurance. Only Raffish Ralph knows wood so good. What a scheme! What a swindle! I'll have to beat the suckers off with a two-by-four! <laughs> hey, you two! I don't consider that helping. She started it, Papa! Did not! He started it! I don't care who started it. Take this basket and gather up these shavings. Your father has a big furniture order from Squire Grizzly and needs all the help he can get. And when you finish with the shavings, you can start on those wood scraps on the other side of the yard. Yes, Mom. Pretty soon now. Here they come. Wow. There's zillions of them. But no super bats. Well, 
So much for scaring Rappish Ralph out of his rotten scheme. Brother Bear, we can't quit now. We have to go into the cave and check out the giant bat story for ourselves. Go into the cave? You've got to be kidding. I wouldn't go into that cave for a million dollars. How about for two tickets to the grand opening of Raffish Ralph's Cave-O-Rama? You got a deal. Now let's tread carefully, stay together, and don't make any loud noises. Yes! <laughs> Chicken wire, spit, and rubber bands. You won't tell anybody. The giant bat of giant bat game has kept our home safe for many years. And if you were to reveal our secret... You don't have to worry about us, Mr. Bat. We're on your side. What you've got to worry about is Raffish Ralph and his cave rama scheme. We bats look at things a little differently. Say, this is serious. It's very serious, because Ralph is too smart to be fooled by this giant fake bat just sitting there. Wait, I think I've got an idea. Now, would it be possible? Here he comes now. Ralph! Oh, Ralph, it's Ralph! Oh, yes, the cubs. And what is on your minuscule mind, my lovely? Well, Ralph, it's like this. Giant bat indeed. If you're getting me out here on a wild goose chase, it'll go hard on you, my lovelies. Really, Ralph? We're doing this 